Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your reading. I'm Clarity Bay. I'm a psychic medium, and I'm dedicated to answering the questions that are most important to you. And in this reading, I'm going to tell you their thoughts and feelings about you right now. And this is a timeless reading, so whenever your energy is drawn to this video, this is the right time and place for you. Take one moment, click that like and subscribe button, hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. Also, if you'd like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. Let's get into your reading. Meditate on the three piles. Pick the one that calmly draws you the most. This would be one, two, and three. And let's get straight into your reading. Hello, beautiful group of one, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to tell you their current thoughts and feelings about you. What is their emotional state of being? I am going to give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. Group of one, you were in awe attracted to this gorgeous orange glass stone. And the color orange is the most sacred color in Hinduism. And it represents fire and purity. As a matter of fact, in China and Japan, orange symbolizes happiness, love, good health, and courage. So let's see what card you are naturally drawn to here. Celestial alignment. With the gorgeous celestial alignment card here, I can definitely see that they are thinking about how beautiful you are, how not only beautiful, you know, aesthetically, aesthetically, and physically, you know, your physical beauty, but you have an inner beauty as well. You know, a spiritual beauty about you, a joy. And they actually feel as if you are very abundant. Let's pull more cards to get even more clarity and other thoughts and feelings regarding this person that is on your mind. Spirit, what are their thoughts? and feelings about group one spirit. And you have here the eight of wands. This is quite interesting because with the eight of wands card, I can clearly see here that they are feeling as if something fast happened within your relationship dynamic um, with them. There was like a, just a sudden quick change of energy between your communication with them as well as like your physical um your physical you know relation it, it was like a quick change it was just something that was very sudden to them and let's pull more energy spirit what is their current thoughts and feelings about group of one spirit And you have here the Page of Wands. Yes, so see, this is very strong a fire energy here. Some of you could actually be Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries in your sun, moon, or rising. This could also represent this person's energy as well. But nevertheless, this is very strong fire energy. And the Page of Wands clearly tells me that they think that you're doing um, a really uh, good right now in your life, like there's a level up, there's a, a glow up. They feel as if you're working on new projects with new people, doing better things as well. They see you as being like very active. I feel as if uh, they watch your social media 
and you're looking a lot younger <laughs> nowadays. You're looking really good, you know, a, a, just a beautiful glow up here, especially with the celestial alignment card that you are naturally drawn to. This is their thoughts. This is their feelings. So they're looking and saying like, Wow, group one is doing so good, working on many projects. And you have like this active kid vibration about you. And I feel as if you are tapped into your inner child right now. And this is why you are giving off this very free spirited energy. And this person is feeling this about you. So let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings about group one, Spirit? The person on your mind, what are their thoughts and feelings? And you have here the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords does represent their intellect, so this is very nice coming out here into your reading. It also represents um, air energy, so this could represent um a very strong air placement within their chart, a Gemini, Leo, or Aquarius in their sun, moon, or no, Gemini, I'm sorry, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in their sun, moon, or rising, or even in their Venus signs. This could represent your energy as well. But specifically here with the Six of Swords energy, they are feeling as if you are finally like moving on. You're going in the opposite direction of them. You're going in the opposite direction of the relationship dynamic. And also with the Six of Wands energy, they feel as if you see this as a necessary relocation. They also think that you're going to move as well um, to a totally different, you know, city or something like that. I feel as if maybe you have discussed moving somewhere with them, but they definitely feel as if you're going to move. And you, and they think that you feel it's very necessary for you to do so. Let's pull more energy. Spirit, what are their current thoughts and feelings about group one? And you have here the Six of Wands, which is a very intriguing because here you have the Six of Swords and right after that you have the Six of Wands card. And again, the Six of Wands card is representing um, them feeling as if you're always um, triumphant in whatever it is, you will win. They see you as very victorious as well, um, very glorious. Like they feel that no matter what um, task you take on, creative project, that you will win. So let's pull more energy. Very nice confirmation from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Let's pull more energy. Spirit, what are their current feelings and thoughts? And you have here the Hierophant energy, and it represents the thought pattern. It represents wisdom as well. So they're feeling as if your third eye is definitely open, and not only open to the spiritual realm and to the spiritual way of seeing things, but your third eye is open when it comes to seeing them in the way that they move. They are literally thinking that... <clears throat> And you can see through them sometimes and they feel as if you can see their bull-ish, you know, like their ish. And um, <laughs> I find this quite amusing. Um, yeah, so they, they don't think that they can pull the wool over your eyes at all, especially because you do have that third eye opening here. Um, they see you and, and think about you doing <clears throat> like your daily rituals of meditation and like prayer beads. Um, and some of you actually listen to very calming music like rain music waves of 432 hertz and very calming. But you have a daily ritual that you do and they think about that all the time. They also wonder if you think about them when you are practicing these rituals here. They feel as if you're trying to cleanse 
from the spiritual connection to them. Some of you, this is a soul tie and <clears throat> they definitely wonder if you are trying to uh, cleanse your energy when it comes to dealing with them. They don't say it like that, but they, they just wonder because you're not communicating with them as much. You're turning away from their energy here as much as you can and going within and searching for more wisdom. They do see, see you again as very highly knowledgeable in, in the spiritual world. Thank you, spirit. And some of you are very invested in spirituality. You're into crystals and you know, of course, tarot and oracle, and some of you are beginning to get into this. And I feel as maybe you shared this with them. And uh, a few of your family members know about this as well. And they speak about your engagement into the spiritual realm with other people, but only like with close family members, they speak about that with. But they just wonder if you're constantly um, thinking about them. Let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what are their current thoughts about group one, Spirit? And you have here, you create your pain. See, yes, they are definitely feeling as if they have created their bed they made their bed, so now they have to lie in it. In regards to the relationship dynamic with you, they know that they have created the outcome of this relationship dynamic with you. And excuse me, group, but why are my voices going in and out here? But they feel as if they have created the relationship dynamic between um <clears throat> them and you, the energy that caused the pain in the relationship, the distrust, the loyalty, um, the manipulation. They just played lots of mind games and they created their pain and they know that they did. And they also know that they created the pain um, of that um, with you. The pain, they caused you great pain as well. So let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit. And Spirit, what is their current feeling, Spirit? What is their current thoughts and feelings? And you have here, look inward to be happy. So yes, <clears throat> they can definitely see that you are taking more time out. They feel as if you're Again, you are glowing up when they see you, when they look at your social media. Some of them have um, private social media accounts and they watch your social media accounts a lot. Don't think that that's not them. That's them. And I feel as if you think, no, they're too old to do that. They're not going to be over there watching my social media. They're really laid back. They really don't care. They are watching you. And they <clears throat> see that you are looking within for your happiness. You you no longer care about how they think or how they perceive you like you did before. They know that you are taking time out to work on yourself and there is a huge glow up with you. You are aligned with source energy and they see it, they know it, and they definitely feel it. So let's pour more energy. Thank you, spirit. They are truly amazed at how you came from the relationship with them to where you are now. It's like night and day. It's a complete 360 that you have done, um, group one. And you should be very proud of yourself. Let's pull more energy. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So see, yes, this is a very strong confirmation in your reading because spirit told us moments earlier, just moments earlier, that that this person sees your physical glow up. You're looking more beautiful, more refreshed. 
younger looking, but they also recognize your spiritual glow up as well. And so they feel as if you taught them a lesson of number one, to be grateful for what they do have. And I feel as if they are saying that, like, I'm so grateful that um, group one, number one, that you have grace for them and yet you did not take revenge in the relationship. So they are truly grateful for that. And because what they have or had in you, it's still in you, but what they had and, and what they were able to share, that is not in another person. You are unique and one of a kind here. And they, I feel as if this person does say, you know, sometimes I'm grateful. I'm, I'm very grateful, but a lot of times it does not show in their actions because gratitude is an action. Love is an action. I feel as if they do tell you that they do love you, but you don't feel it because they don't show it. And I feel as if they, they do have a love and, you know, and a love infinity for you, but they just don't know how to show it. But group one, you are worthy of someone expressing their love truly from their heart and showing you <clears throat> how they actually feel. And, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice here. You are worthy of someone showing you exactly how they feel about you. Not hiding it, not sheltering, you know, and pushing down their emotions. And this is the type of person this is. But nevertheless, they feel as if you are you know, celestial aligned with the universe. You're abundant. You have great wisdom. You have taught them so much um, spiritually. And this is a very nice confirmation. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson with the Hierophant card that came out here as well, speaking on higher knowledge and tradition that they know that you do possess here. Thank you, Spirit. So group one, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. They definitely warm my heart and make my day. Group one, I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group two, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to give you insight and clarity on the feelings and thoughts about you right now. Let's get straight into your reading. Group two, you are naturally drawn here to the beautiful teal blue glass stone. And what's so amazing about your choice is that the color teal combines the calming properties of blue with the renewal qualities of green. It is a revitalizing and rejuvenating color that also represents open communication and clarity of thought. And also for Tibetan monks, teal is symbolic of the infinity of the sea and sky, while it is the color of truth and faith for Egyptians. So gorgeous. Let's get into your reading. And the card you are attracted to is the Liberation card, Queen Mother Nanny. Now with the Queen Liberation energy, liberation represents love. It represents growth here. So their feelings are for you, with you being naturally drawn to this card here as your first cho choice. This person does have a love affinity for you. But not only that, they know that you love yourself. They see that you have a greater self-love, um, a self-confidence for yourself, and even a higher self-respect. But let's pull more cards to get even more clarity. Spirit, what is there? Thoughts and feelings about group two. 
and you have here the two of wands a very nice synchronicity here in your reading because you are group two with the two of wands card i can clearly see here that they are thinking that you are going to move that you're making travel plans i feel as if you did express to this person that you would you would like to move to a new location to start over to do something new here and also with the two of wands energy they feel like you have choices right now in your life that you have people um, to choose from that you want to be around, not the other way around, people choosing you. They feel as if you do have options here. Also, when it comes to romantic partnerships, and they just wonder, like, what are you doing and how are you moving in your day to day? So let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings about group two? As you have here, the Queen of Swords. Very interesting. So with the Queen of Swords energy, they definitely see you and feel as if, again, you're very strong. They know that you do speak the truth. You will tell them about themselves, but you will also ex express um, the truth about you too. So it's not like you're you know, you're hypercritical, you're not. It's just that like you express the truth and sometimes they don't like that. And I feel as if they do um, shy away from you when you do start speaking the truth as well. And I feel as if you do talk to this person on the phone and you do start exp expressing the truth, what you feel your truth is and sometimes expressing things that they have shown you and you express that back to them, they kind of, they say to you, let me give you a call back. Oh, I got a call on the other line. Oh, I'm cooking right now. Let me call you right back. So I feel as if you do express the truth and they know that you do. They see you as very ambitious as well with um, the Queen of Wands. They feel as if you are a goal getter and you're, you're very creative. You're going to get what you want. You walk the walk and talk the talk here with this Queen of Swords energy and also they see you as very strong as well. So they know that you're strong mentally and emotionally represented here by the Queen of Swords. And they just know they just can't pull the wool over your eyes or just get anything by you. And they definitely know they cannot call you with lies because you can see right through them. So let's pull more energy to get even more clarity. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings about group two, Spirit? What are their thoughts and feelings, Spirit? And you have here the nine of swords, even more intellect energy here, how they know that they just can't tell you anything. I feel as if this is the type of person that does like to talk a lot, gossip, spread news, and but they, you know, they they exaggerate a lot. You know, in other words, they lie um, quite a bit. But with the Nine of Swords energy, I feel as if that um, they know that that um, that they're thinking that you have dreams about them a lot. And they are wondering if um, you, because I feel as if you may have expressed to them or felt a bit anxious, you know, at some time um, or another. And they're wondering and thinking about you having maybe anxiety over the relationship dynamic. So that is what their, their true thoughts and feelings are right now. They're, they're like, I wonder if she's depressed about me when she thinks about me i wonder if she does so let's pull more energy and i don't know why she came out but that's exactly how spirit gave it to me so let's pull more energy thank you spirit spirit what are their thoughts and feelings about group two what are their thoughts and feelings and you have here the nine of pentacles I love the correlation between the liberation card that you are naturally attracted to here and the Nine of Pentacles energy because the Nine of Pentacles, it represents that you again are able to be fully self-sufficient. And they are thinking that and, and wondering if you're having a luxurious 
um, a time, a luxurious lifestyle here, and they're thinking about your bag, your money. How much money do you have, your financial gain as well? And they're also wondering if you're going on trips by yourself. This is a very strong correlation between the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Wands here, where you see in the card he's thinking about taking a solo trip, and the Nine of Pentacles represents um, you of taking solo pleasures. Because I feel as if a lot of you do like to travel um, by yourself, like maybe go to a resort or go to a hotel for a few days just to get away by yourself. And this person knows this about you, so they think about that as well. And about your lifestyle, your money. How much money do you have? Are you living this luxurious life that um, you love to live? They're thinking about that as well. Let's pull more energy, Spirit. What are their thoughts and feelings about Group 2, Spirit? And you have here, find power in loss. So see, yes. This person is wondering if you are powerful, more powerful without them, you know, represented as well here in the Liberation card. Thank you, Spirit, for this very strong confirmation. They're wondering if you're stronger, badder, like you, did you become a baddie? They know that you have, but they think about this quite often, and they say something like, yeah, I know she's better without me. I know she's blowing up. I can just feel it. And so, yes, because you let go of them, you know, that they see you as being very powerful. They think about that a lot, how powerful you must be now that you don't feel as if you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. And they know that they put that weight on you as well. I feel as if that they know that they were a burden to some degree. For some of you, they were a financial burden as well as kind of like an energy vampire. But let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings, Spirit? And you have here, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Wow. So they do feel that you have taught them many things by being with you because of the, you know, their interactions with you, that it taught them a lot about themselves and that, you know, you are spiritually connected, strongly spiritually connected to by nature. Spirit is just, you have favor, okay? You're blessed, you're blessed here and they know that. They knew that when they first, you know, met you, that you are blessed spiritually. You are abundant by nature and that whatever you want, you can have. And that by them losing that relationship with you, you know, are you letting go, or turning away from them? They feel it. They truly do. And they're grateful for it. Um, in so many ways, but they do not express it at all. This is the type of person that does keep their feelings hidden and bottled up. Now, I also feel like this person may have been the type of person that kept their feelings bottled up to like, you know, at some points they did explode and they did cause you anxiety and have you move around in this ancient, ancient, anxious nature uh, represented here by the nine of swords card here. Thank you, Spirit, for that very nice confirmation. So let's pour more energy. Spirit, what do they feel about Group 1, Spirit? What are their thoughts and feelings, Spirit, about Group 1? What are their thoughts and feelings about Group 1? And you have here the temperance card. So with the temperance card, this energy clearly tells me that they see you as very balanced. They feel that you do have a harmony in your life and that you do have patience and more self-control. 
a balance, a beautiful balance. They think about that all the time. How nice it must be for you now. I feel as if this is the type of person that does feel sorry for themselves quite often and that they, they just go back and forth sometimes. This is kind of like a duality um, energy here I'm getting from this person. Sometimes you feel a sense of warmth from them and then sometimes there's a great sense of coldness. Let's pull more energy. Thank you, Spirit. And you have here the Four of Pentacles, yes. See, this is a very strong confirmation that this person is very worried here about their financial future. They are living in, you know, some sort of isolation, but they do think about you building a long-term financial security for yourself um, because that is your way of thinking. You are a builder. You're always thinking of forward here. And I feel as if this person had a vibrational discord um, in the relationship, caused a vibrational discord in the relationship dynamic between you two. I feel as if you were always trying to move forward and they would somehow throw a wrench in the middle of your plans. And sometimes it would be like them shutting down or them coming up with this elaborate, you know, um, either scheme or manipulation plot or something like that, just to kind of like distract you. And they know that. And now they're worried about their finances, but they're constantly thinking about your glow up, you know, your luxurious lifestyle. Are you living lux luxurious? And they're wondering how you're doing it. They're thinking about that every day. And Spirit is blessing you. There's lots of abundance and prosperity coming to you, group two. This is a pure message from Spirit. Thank you, Spirit, for this very beautiful confirmation. So group two, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. I am sending you lots of love and good energy. Hello, beautiful group three, and welcome to your reading. In this reading, I'm going to give you insight on what their feelings and thoughts are about you right now. The person on your mind, what is their emotional state of being regarding you? I will give you everything that spirit gives to me and not leave anything out. Let's get straight into your reading. Group three, you are naturally attracted here to the gorgeous, beautiful, bright yellow glass stone. And yellow symbolizes intellect, creativity, happiness, and the power of persuasion. It is also associated with um, uh, being strong, you know. It promotes clarity of thought. In the aura yellow, it signifies intellectual development for either material or spiritual needs. So let's see what card you are naturally attracted to here. And you have the truth card. Very interesting. I can clearly see here with the truth card being your first card that this person is feeling as if you are definitely living your life the way that you want to live it first and foremost. And they know that they cannot pull the wool over your eyes. They know that they cannot tell you lies. You've been there. You've done that. You, you are experienced with, you know, others being deceptive while you have always been truth. And because this person, I can definitely feel, has taken advantage and also taken your truth for granted. 
Let's pull more energy to get even more clarity. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings about group one spirit? What are their thoughts and feelings? And you have here the eight of pentacles. A very interesting energy. What are their thoughts and feelings about group two spirit? You have here the Six of Cups. So I can clearly see here with the Eight of Pentacles card that this person that is on your mind is thinking about your, like your job, your employment, like you enjoying your job. They, they are saying things like, wow, Group 3 must be enjoying, you know, their work. They see you as a master of your employment and your job as well. They think about your job a lot. This is truly what they're thinking about. And with the Six of Cups card, they also, they're thinking about like reconciliation within the relationship. How can they reconcile with you? How can they bring, you know, even more harmony um, to you? Because I feel as if they did you know, have a lot of discord going on, number one, within themselves. And I feel as if that discord was a part of, came from like their childhood. And I'm also sensing that you had challenges as well in your childhood, group three. And I feel as if that is something that you two did have in common but totally, maybe totally different incidents or maybe an incident that you didn't know about their childhood that they had in common with yours. But yes, but they're wondering how could they reconcile for some of you. Um, this could definitely be a person that, you know, Maybe you told your childhood you know, challenges too, and they took them for granted, and they used you know that against you to kind of you know just manipulate you. They were very mean for that, and I'm so sorry for that. Group three, let's pull more energy. Thank you, spirit. And you have here, yes, the tower card. A very strong confirmation. Thank you, Spirit. And the Tower card definitely represents that there was a destruction within the relationship dynamic and that um, it brought you lots of enlightenment regarding relationships in general, group of three. I feel as if you learned so much from this person that you felt like you were in several relationships at one time. And, but this represents some sort of disgrace and up upheaval of and, and violence that uh, this person brought to the relationship dynamic and they do think about that a lot they think about that a lot that part of themselves and they wish that they can change it and they wish that they can definitely reconcile the relationship let's pull more energy thank you spirit spirit what are their feelings and thoughts And you have here the Four of Wands. So you see with the Four of Wands card, this is clearly telling me that this is definitely someone that was very close to you, you know, that was you were in a relationship or a family, a friend, something like that. But this also is representing reunion here. This person wanting to reunite with you, reconcile, a beautiful confirmation with the Six of Cups card. Thank you, Spirit, for this confirmation. Let's pull more energy. A spirit, what is their current thoughts and feelings about group three? And you have here the Devil card. So, yes, this person offered lots of discord in this relationship and lots of deception. And they know that, they think about that. When they think about you, they think about their actions and how their actions 
of greed, you know, addiction, envy, obsession, and sexual lust affected your relationship between them. Let's pour more energy. Thank you, Spirit, for this very strong confirmation. Let's pour more energy. Spirit, what are their thoughts about thoughts and feelings about group three spirit? What are their thoughts and feelings? And you have here the nine of wands, and it definitely makes sense because the nine of wands this represents you um, keeping and maintaining your boundaries, and you're persistent with it, and they. Think about that a lot, how you have put up this wall of protection for yourself and even for, for your children. Some of you have children with this person and they see that you are maintaining your boundaries. You are blocking their calls or if you have children, you see their calls and you do not call them back, you know, because you know they don't want anything. You know that they're just being nosy and trying to be in your business so you don't call them back. And they know that you are persistent with keeping your boundaries up here with them. This is an interesting correlation here with the devil card and then the nine of wands card coming out after that. Thank you, spirit. So let's pour more energy. Spirit, what are their thoughts and feelings about group three, spirit? Surrender and be at peace. So yes, this person is dealing with a lot on their mind. And whatever they thought that they were doing to you, they were doing it to themselves. And they now know this. They recognize this. They are wanting to be at peace. They want to find some way to come to a peaceful resolution with you. You are encouraged, Group 3, to send this person lots of love and a white light around them. When you think about them, if you think about some of the events, if they pop in your head, some of the discord, just send that away calmly with love and light and forgive this person because this is what is allowing you to bring more prosperity and truth and love into your life as represented here in the truth card and that you did pick first and surrender and be at peace definitely clearly tells me that they are thinking about how peaceful you must be now that they are no longer in your life to cause this manipulation to cause this discord to trick you you're not constantly wondering did i see this did they say that what am I thinking? You know, am I going crazy? No, you are not going crazy. You were not going crazy. What you saw was definitely the truth. What you feel about this person is the truth. As represented here in your first call, your intuition is right and on fleek. Thank you, Spirit. So let's pour more energy. Spirit, what are their current feelings and thoughts about group of three, Spirit? I couldn't let you get close to me. Look at the wonderful confirmation that Spirit gives us because moments earlier, Spirit did tell us that this person definitely had a wall up. And I see the correlation between the nine of wands, how you have persistent boundaries up, but your boundaries are healthy here. But this person was definitely shut down emotionally and spiritually. And because of something that happened in their childhood. They they had a great loss in their childhood. I feel even if it was a loss of maybe a parent or a loss of their innocence, um, they did not want to be vulnerable and allow you to get close to them. And so that is represented here with, I couldn't let you get close to me. So they put up this very strong wall and it, it, represented itself and you know an obsessive nature here represented by the devil card 
and it represented itself in addiction as well as jealousy, um, envy, and obsession as well as a sexual lust here. So yes, forgive this person, group a three, send them love and light, um, and make sure that you continue to care for yourself because I can clearly see here that you are going towards truth, healing, wholeness. You have lots of self-love and strong um, self-respect and self-confidence, self-assurance, and there are many blessings that await you in way of a deep partner and love connection relationship. So group three, this does conclude your reading. I hope this reading does resonate with you and inspire you. If it does, please leave a comment below because I do love reading your comments. Also, please take one moment to click that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you do not miss an important video message. If you like to further support the channel, please click that super thanks button. It is that heart-shaped icon just below the video. Group three, I am sending you lots of love and good energy.